Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Open the glove box to remove it. There are two pins at the bottom. Push them towards the center. It will unlock the hinges. I'll give you a better view of these once I have the glove box out. One just fell. That's okay. With those loose, you can unhook from these pins. It'll lower down. There's a tether that keeps it from slamming when you open it. You have to unclip that. So it's just gonna push down. And it's got like tension to it, so it's gonna zip back up. We'll reattach that later. So these pins go through here and they go through the glove box and they make the hinge. So we're pushing them to the center to unlock it and then they just fall out on the floor and you reinsert them when we install it. Put this aside. This dashboard trim has to come out. This is basically the glove box holder. To remove these Phillips head screws here, here, here. There's one underneath here. There's another one here. And the rest should be clipped. Start removing this one up here. Actually, we need to pop this trim out too. It's down here, this will just pop out. Pull that out of the way. Pop this trim out too. Unplug the light by turning it. Uh, turn it clockwise to pull it out. This panel removed. We can now get to the back of the trunk release on off switch. There's a small push lock on the back of the connector. You push it in, pull it out. Move this panel out. There are two push clips here. Push them in. It will come through the panel. And that's how you remove that switch. Reinstall it. Push it through the front of the panel. Line it up, it will clip in. Oops. Plug it back in. Reinstall the panel. Let's get some push clips there and towards the bottom. There's an edge here that needs to go underneath this part of the dash. Kind of feed it up into there. Just like that. Clip it up over here. Push over that little bumper to hold it. Start applying our trim screws. Before I get too far, I'm gonna install this trim panel back. Push this in. Reinstall this trim panel. It needs to go underneath this and in this little channel here. So it's probably best to lift it up like that. Finally, install the glove box 
lock bracket. Just sit on those little tabs and hold it in place. And there's one final screw. Don't forget, it's under here. We'll reinstall our glove box. Now, you don't want to forget this. It's kind of up here. It's this tether. It's like on a spring, or like a damper. And just so when you open the glove box, it doesn't like slam open. It's got a hook into here in the glove box. Now, of course, it doesn't go that far. So you've got to lift the glove box up and try to slide this little button into the side of the glove box. It's a bit tricky to hold the glove box up. All right, I got it. Now, those hinges, you can see there's a hinge here gonna slide in between those two. There's one on each side. So I'm gonna actually put the holding tabs that are here and here. I'm gonna slide them into place. Get one in, get the other one in. So the glove box will sort of sit there. we get it lined up where the hinges go. Now we need to take our hinge pins and push them into place. They're gonna go in from this direction. Through, but you're gonna line it up with the box, the club box. All right, I've got one. I need to get the other one. You can actually lift the club box up a little bit if it's easier. There's the other one. The club box now hinges. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.